It's got a couple of O-rings welded into it as well. That's where we're going to put the locks in just a minute. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Look good? Yeah, don't break it. Uh, yeah. It seems pretty legit. Excellent, excellent. We'll take that. We'll take that. So you can just lay that right down there. And uh, next up, I've got a couple of master padlocks. So I'd ask you to take either one of those, your choice, and I want you to go ahead and lock the hasp. Just lock it shut. And make sure it doesn't pop open. There's no buttons on it to make the locks pop open or anything weird. And all right, so I'm gonna unlock this one. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the bottom of the plastic sleeve comes off, but it's still, yeah, it's still locked right. So you go ahead and unlock that one if you would. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. And I'll just take the lock back. I'll ask you to hold on to the key for a moment, okay. Right, okay? And last but not least, if you would just please put your hands straight out in front of him. So we have a very now, just take a step over to the monster, Steve. You're the only one that can see inside right now, so I need you to take a look and let the audience know what you see. I want to know if it is, in fact, a solid wood crate. Looks pretty good. Interprofessional crate uh, uh, well, investigation experience. Well, uh, according to my experience, there is nothing in the box. Yes. I can tell you that. And yes, it is. Yeah, it will be Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. How about that? Have you ever read stuff in a box and said, I'm oh, oh, oh. First time today, maybe? No, I right. um, I want you to do me a favor. I'll have you have a seat right in that chair there. Okay. So you're going to get kind of the backstage view. You'll see what's going on from the side here, and everyone else is going to see from out there. Afterwards, if they have any questions, they're going to come ask you, all right? Yeah. So, uh, all right, I think we're just about ready to start here. I just got to take off the mic. Um, if you go anywhere in the world and you ask people who their favorite magician is, a lot of times they'll tell you that it's Harry Houdini, which is pretty amazing because he was alive about 100 years ago and uh, he was a man of short stature. He came over to this country. Uh, he immigrated from Budapest, Hungary. And uh, he came over and didn't know a word of English, so he, he picked it all up when he was here. And uh, also a man of relatively short stature. Um, it would be hard, you would think it would be easy for someone like that to get lost in the crowd, right? In New York City, um, back in the uh, 1910s. But, uh, but not Harry. He would find a way to uh, really get the, the spotlight and the attention of people. He'd be handcuffed. Uh, hung upside down from a, a building in a straitjacket. He would be put into a jail cell, and he would always find a way to escape, which was a super powerful message around the time of the Great Depression. So it is on that note that we would like to present Houdini's Metamorphosis. Oh, my God. <laughs>